Good day everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of The Escapists. Now, after the failure of our last escape attempt, we have successfully got back to a good enough stage that we should be able to retry our escape attempt very early on in this episode, as we have better cutters, we have a fake fence in case we need that, a guard's outfit, and that should be everything we need to get out of here. Now, while playing around with this, I have found different features that help us progress. There's what's known as in some people's desks, which doesn't seem to have a use. There's something like a panarium barrel. Now, this item, although being pointless to keep for yourself, if you give that to someone, increases their opinion of you by a heck of a lot. So, if we find any of them, we keep hold of them, and we can increase people's opinion, even guards with them. But for now, we just need to focus on getting to the night, and then we can escape. Hopefully. If we don't get caught, that is. Okay, we don't need to pick up any stuff, we don't want to get any heat off the guards. The guards have got okay opinions of us. Their writing is in orange. I haven't got anyone in this prison, I think, who's got green writing for me. So we're sort of mid-range opinion at the minute. So we've just got to hope that we don't get a cell shakedown. And then we can execute our plan to escape. And if we do, we will then move on to the next prison and get set up in that. Because obviously there won't be much in this episode. This wouldn't even be a five minute episode if we just left it at this. So let's just get in our cell. Get our bed dummy. Wait for the guard to go past. Put our bed dummy down. Get out the back. Pick up all of these items that we need. Drop the inmate outfit. I can see a flashlight moving around outside, so we're just going to give it a little bit of time. There we go. Right, let's do this. Let's see if we can, can we go out this bit. Let's cut through this bit of the fence. Through. Get on the other side, put the fence cover there. Oh, there we go. Yes, we've escaped. And we get caught again. Your escaped centre perks. Place that's 500. Play reputation 3690. Good behaviour 402. Bad behaviour 2 minus 241. Days taken bonus, 10,312. Efficiency, 21,366. Overall score, 36,029. Decent score, but we could have escaped a lot quicker if I hadn't done this stuff. So here's our next prison. The Stalag Fluch. It's not just the food served up here that's cold. I'd, I'd make sure you have packed your thermals to keep, your harsh, keep the harsh conditions at bay. So let's jump into this prison, shall we? Let's pick our character and our name. There we are. And we'll get into the next prison. So this prison should be slightly more difficult, but they'll sort of give you a little message at the start to kick us off. I believe in this one, yeah, we actually share a cell with someone. Send me an send me another one, have they? Listen, Max, I don't have to remind you that Stag Fluch is famous for housing inmates with a record of escapism. So if you're planning to get out of this one, think again. Now get yourself settled in. I didn't read the last part because I accidentally skipped it. So we share a cell with Diego, so we need to make sure we have a high rep with him. Oh, our 
first mission. Breakfast. Oh, we could do that straight away. Come on. Not that I care that we're going to have shakedowns, but who is going to have shakedowns? Diego and Walt. Let's have a look see if Diego would get busted, shall we? Oh, he would. He's got rope, a metal sheet as well. I've got his back. Dump all that stuff. Not that I really need it. I'm just literally just going to take it away. Um, pack of playing cards. We need to find out what we can keep and what we don't need. Toothpaste and talcum powder we can keep hold of. All of that needs to go. There we go, that's all flushed down the toilet. Now we have a desk full of stuff we just need. Morning roll call. We just had that. Why couldn't have you given me that like a few seconds ago? Oh, I don't want to beat down a guard. What I will do is hit this one, cause a ruckus at breakfast and then run for it. So we already are off to a head start with 30 gold pieces. But we need to get ourselves used to where the layer is. So that's the exercise period. We have the library down here. Oh god, yep. Yeah, I forgot. Now we've got work. Yeah, the whole schedule changes depending on... And there's a metal detector where we can't hold any illegal items when we walk through. And I think this guard is literally just going to get... Um, beat us down. Right, let's just give up. <laughs> he just won't leave us alone. So we'll have to take down. We'll have to take the beating because we need to get on with our job. Otherwise we'll get fired straight away. Come on. Where's... Ah, here it is. Let's get our hoe, rake and trowel. Wait, no. Trowel's contraband. How are we meant to... Can't take that out get instant 99 heat if we take that part through here. Anyway, that's fine. There we go. Got to find all these little weeds. Get all of them up with our rake and our hoe. I think they basically do the same job. Yeah. But apparently we can use the hoe as a weapon. So. Oh, we can use the rake as a weapon. This gardening job takes a while. We might actually lose this job. I don't know if it ends at 12. No, it doesn't. We've got a little bit longer, but we still have quite a bit to do. And I keep walking away from them. Come on now. Where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? We need to raise our intelligence so we can get a better job. Diego. He's delivering magazines and he's just been beat down. He's going to get fired. Oh god, I think it probably ends at 1. So we really need to get this done. Come on. There we go. Does it end at 1? Yep, we just got done. Five though. Right. Let's uh, take some jobs. Other than that, we want to go and. Okay, I can't take the job off him for some reason. Cut from Edgar. Don't want to beat anyone down. Crowbars are really good items to have, so no, I'm not giving you a crowbar. Right. You exercise there. I'm just gonna go read in the library. I'm gonna get our intellect up so we can get a better job. As you can see from here, the fence on the outside is electric, so we can't cut through the fence this time. So we need to make sure we know what we're doing. 
right, what are our stats actually looking like? We had 30 in everything, but now we've got 35 intelligence. Good. We need to just gradually build up our intelligence to be the best. We haven't been item scavenging yet either. We need to get into people's desks and scavenge items. We want to raise our intelligence to super high because that's what the best job to need the best intelligence you can get. So I think we might be able to skip through. We'll have about oh, I'm too fatigued. We probably will get through a day's worth in this prison, and then we'll end the episode there after we pass through a day. So what are our challenges so far? Cause a ruckus at morning roll call and remove a cup from Edward. Right. As we're fatigued, let's go around and scavenge some supplies, shall we? Now we're starting with Edgar's desk. Is the cup in here? Yes, it is. There we go. 25. Good, good. We need that. Uh, the fork will be helpful, and so will the wire. We've got a lot of items now that we can collect, so going to be difficult. Uh, the cutters will definitely help us again. But in there, there's nothing else really that we want. We need some duct tape though. Duct tape is the main thing you want to have. Ah, here we go, look, the Panarium barrel. So you give this to someone and their opinion of you goes really high up. So we've got to keep that on us. Put our two files in and the rest of our stuff is not contraband. So the only contraband we have is files, metal sheet we took off um, the Diego and the rope. Oh, we found some more as well. So we'll give this barrel to Diego to make sure he's our friend. But it looks like we actually have green opinion with most of the people we've started with. No, we don't need any of that. What about this? Hmm, foil could be helpful, but not really. Foil we'll need when we need contraband pouches to get um, contraband items through metal detectors. But at this point in time we don't need that, so we'll be fine. Right, I think that's all desks searched today. We've got a lot of files and wood, I think. Yeah, four files, two bits of timber. We, need, we ain't got any duct tape though to go through anything. What we will do though is make a little dent into this wall. So that when we have enough for a poster, we can put it here. And that should hide a hole in the wall and then we have access to that fence which we could then cut through as well. Cut through that fence and then put the fake fence there once we get another piece of wire. It'll all plan out eventually. But now we need to eat dinner because we're down on stamina. So if we can quickly get this up. It's raised, it raises at six like per second. So this should be a good there we go, we're already full. Oh, we have two times of our job. How do we unequip a weapon? I haven't figured that out yet. We're just going to have to go back and get the other thing. Oh, everything's regenerated. I don't quite understand how we equip a weapon. <laughs> oh well, we'll just take our rake. No. Oh, we should have beat up someone who's in one of the other jobs. Isn't there a job down here, I think, that you can have? Yeah, this guy. We need to beat this guy down and take his job. So let's just take us, take him with us. Come on. No job for you. Just take you over here. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> just leave him there. 
Is there any free jobs at the minute? No. I think what his is is the unloading position. So we want to take the unloading position off him. He probably needs quite a bit of intellect. So we need to make sure we can grab lots of intellect. He's now chasing us, good. If you want to stay chasing us, we can have a little cycle around so you don't get back to your job in time. <laughs> Come on. No job for you today, sir. We're both getting fired today. So does that mean there's going to be an hour of free time after this and then evening roll call? Evening roll call is normally about 22. 21 will probably be free period because work period is normally only like three hours. So we might have an hour of free period to try and get our intellect up to take this guy's job who's just following us. Yeah. Now let's just go and read. We're going to get a message saying that we've been fired from our job anyway. There we go, we've been fired. That was that message that I really quickly skipped past. Oh, it's a shower block now. Oh yeah, I forgot we haven't had a shower before. probably need about, it's probably 70 again because I think unloading is the best paying job. So you want to have the highest amount of intelligence that you can get. So we're at 54 now, we need more than that. I don't think we're going to get the job today, which means that the job might be taken tomorrow. Well, we need to get to roll call, otherwise they send it to lockdown, which we don't want. We're really fatigued as well. This gives us time to give Diego this barrel. Here we go. So Diego's 59 opinion of us. We give him the barrel. And he's now at 100. <laughs> there we go. That's how effective the barrel is. Looks like no one's selling anything useful to all oh, duct tape actually. And why? we go, we've got some good items now already. We could actually quickly, before the episode ends, we'll quickly break through the fence behind us, maybe. Could be risky, though. Oh no, we can't, because we broke the wall. Oh, we broke the wall closer to his side. Oops. Let's make these items, though. We need these. So there we've got some cutters. And we'll have a fake fence. Don't know why we need the rake, but anyway. So we'll sleep today. But anyway, we'll leave this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. See you in tomorrow's episode of another overcooked episode. See you then. Goodbye.